How old do you reckon these trees are, mate? Fifty years old. So our son was diagnosed with cancer at the age of five. Uh, we, were, we were devastated by the news. It was a bit of a shock to us. He's been through uh, very significant treatment, um, which is very, very hard on the young kids. The good news is that Aidan has, um, you know, survived his treatment and is back at school now, enjoying himself. But there are plenty of parents who aren't so lucky. There are there are terrible situations out in the hospital where, um, you know, many kids are losing their life each each week. Neuroblastoma is one of the most lethal forms of childhood cancer. One of the problems with neuroblastoma is children that have been diagnosed with high grade disease have little in the way of treatment. So we've developed a new class of anti-cancer compounds which target the structure of the cancer cell. Professor Peter Gunning and Dr Justine Steen are working on a program that may change the face of cancer medicine. So the way this works, it's like watching a building collapse on television. We're actually dynamiting the insides of a cell and causing its overall structure to collapse, really destroying the internal girders, the struts, the supports. The insides of the cell just collapse, the cell dies. And the reality is, it's this same structure that you see in essentially every kind of cancer cell. So we can't just go after neuroblastoma here, we can go after any kind of tumour. So the challenge with uh, cancer research for children is, is that governments and corporations are generally only wanting to fund to the next phase. And so when you have people like Peter Gunning who have a theory about cell structures and want to take something in a new direction, uh, there's very little funding. So the Kids Cancer Project has been funding this research now for, for almost 10 years. And for people like my wife and I, that gives us hope uh, because we're, 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 we're looking for the new thing to help save our children um, from this dreadful disease.